Why do you always fake smile as soon as you sit down? I don't know about fake smiling. You want to throw it up? This is a fake smile. Show me a fake smile. <laughs> That's not how you do it. That's not how you do it. How do I know how I do it? Usually, because all you do is fake smile. And this is what it looks like. It's like you don't even try to smile. It's hard to smile when I'm not happy to smile at something. So now you're not happy? No. Man's happy, but don't try and make me forcibly happy. That doesn't make any sense. Don't force happiness into me. Man ain't trying to smile at your situation. Take a picture and smile. Why? For the camera. No, see, you're forcing it. Because you're you're freezing a moment in time. Uh, Freezing how I look. You have resting... Because I know your mom. <laughs> oh my god, look at that spider on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> you messed up my hearing. My hair looks nice. Don't touch my hair. Okay. <laughs> Get off my hair. I'm off. Touched. Done, been touched. Are we starting? Can we start? Please. I yawn because you bore me. Mm. Alright, baby girl. Mm. Go on, go. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Break Fresh. Thanks so much for tuning in. Um, I'm Lacey, aka The Pink Coconut, Coop, aka Inspired by Coop. Today, we are talking about something really exciting, something that so many of you have questions about, and that is fasting, um, water fasting in particular. As most of you guys know, Coop fasts all the time. I mean, at this point, how many days or hours have you fasted? I've, I've, I stopped counting that 240. 240 what? 40 days total. 240 days yeah. total. Of course, not at a time. Let's not be ridiculous. Like, <clears throat> Yeah, but I mean, of course, in, sm- in intervals, whether, wow. it's, whether it's 36 hours to 42 hours a week or... If it was five day fast, seven mm-hmm. day fast, fourteen day fast, seventeen day fast, I've just done them in small little wow. bits. So I guess we can just start from the top then. What <clears throat> is a water fast? So water fast is also known as wet fast. So basically what you're doing is abstaining from food so you don't consume anything strictly water and that's it. So there's no added lemons or limes, there's no caffeine. It's just plain water, no carbonated water. So no herbal still... teas. I know a lot of people ask, well, what about herbal teas yeah. or something like if that? If it isn't plain, then you're doing a different type of fast. There's only one type of water fast, and that is plain water by itself. Is it fair to say that a water fast is the one and only true fast? Um, it's one of the only true fasts. As you would say, fast. <laughs> fast. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's also dry fasting. Okay, and yeah. dry fasting is when you abstain from water and food. And you don't consume anything apart from the oxygen that you breathe in. So <clears throat> let's cut right to the chase also. Because most people would say, oh my gosh, like, wouldn't you die? I would die if I didn't eat food. Uh-huh. Um, that's a, a lot of people's sort of common... Um, rebuttal like mm-hmm. you know I can't fast so that's crazy I guess the idea mm-hmm. of abstaining from food because people are we're told that we need food to because it contains nutrients and that gives us energy and that's sort of what makes our body work mm-hmm. um, so why how does the body continue to operate off of only water it continues to operate because everything that the body needs to operate it already obtains so Eating food is just a, a, a mere stimulant to your cells. But what we already have within us is, well, the main thing that we need is carbohydrates. Mm. And um, carbohydrates, and I'm not talking about from refined carbohydrates, I'm not talking about starches, because mm-hmm. carbohydrates, is the name has actually changed. Carbohydrates is only something that's found in fruits, okay? But now they've turned the word, the, the, the food sources that come from starch mm-hmm. is now been called carbohydrates so now people are confused and that's why people are scared too right like exactly. I, I gotta stay away from carbs mm-hmm. so um is is carbon and hydrogen so that's what that's what that's what carbohydrates yeah, are exactly so that's what we're getting from our fruits 
carbon and hydrogen, carbohydrate. Exactly. I never knew that. So when it comes to, um, wait, what was the question again? The question is, how does your body continue to operate when you're not having any food? Okay, so what your body will start to do is start to break down fat stores and then it will produce ketones. And ketones is something that is converted by, from your fat, from your liver. Your liver will convert your fats into ketones and then your, your body would to generally operate on ketones. But that is what happens on day two and three, depending on your body composition. What happens first is your body would, um, it would use all of its glycogen stores, which is... Which is yeah, I don't know okay. if I know what glycogen okay. is. All right, so we have glucose, mm-hmm. which your body converts once you consume food. Mm-hmm. And then that is what our body use, it utilizes for energy. Right. Or of course, if we eat loads of fruits, it would be fructose. But um, glucose is stored in the liver and in the muscles and the cells. Okay. Okay. So first, the first thing that starts to happen is that your body will deplete and utilize all of the glycogen or glucose storage okay. that's in your body. Okay. And then afterwards, it would then jump onto your muscle protein. And then you'll start to utilize that um, for energy, and then it stops doing that, and it goes into protein sparing, and then it produces ketones from the fat stores. So, do you, so is it safe to say that somebody who's water fasting would lose a lot of weight then? A lot of people would. Some people actually don't. They can do seven days water fasting and still not lose any weight. But that's because they only did seven days. If they were extended, they did 10 days, 12 days, 14 days, maybe 21, they would lose a significant amount. I've read that the average healthy person in sort of just mm. average health could actually fast up to 40 days mm-hmm. without, like, without needing food and they'd, and they'd be fine. They'd they be would surviving. be fine. It doesn't matter whether someone is slim because a, a lot of slim people are concerned. Oh, I don't want to look. I don't want to lose so much weight. I know so many people have lost so much weight. But... Those people that have more fat stores contain more mm-hmm. toxins. Well, so, and it's kind of like you said on our last video too about waste weight. Mm-hmm. So if you are losing weight, no matter how big or small small you appear to be, sort of physically, mm-hmm. you're losing weight that needs to go because it's toxic weight. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Right? So someone that's slim won't typically lose that much weight. They will get slimmer, mm-hmm. but they won't lose okay. a dramatic amount in comparison to somebody that is a lot bigger than them mm-hmm. that's fasted for the exact exact um, same amount of time. Because they have more to lose. Exactly. So we tend to carry around 10 to 12 pounds, no, 5 to 12 pounds of waste just in our colon. Oh, itself. wow. 5 to... 10 pounds. 5 to 12 pounds. Wow. Which is a lot, right? 5 to 12 pounds. I mean, because the thing is, I guess we're taught from a super early age that we eat three meals a day. Mm-hmm. And in between those three meals, we have snacks. Yeah. And so from the time we're born, we're eating and we're eating and we're mm-hmm. eating and we're eating and we're eating. And we're never giving our body a break mm-hmm. to just chill because our body, even if we're not eating or even if we're sleeping, our body is still digesting mm-hmm. food. So it's never given a rest. It's being mm-hmm. overworked constantly mm. from the moment we're born and so i suppose that's another huge reason why it's so amazing to do a water fast to just give your body a break i mean everybody talks about sleeping now oh, you need to sleep get your rest but give your organs a rest that's mm. what's important it's because somebody on an average diet still has food so what day is, is what day is it today's thursday mm. somebody on an average diet today would still have monday's food in their colon so you're saying like the standard like American diet yeah. would still have Monday's food because yeah. it takes that long to digest. And exactly. isn't it also true that ev- for each meal, every meal takes 12 hours to digest? Mm-hmm. Well, go, yeah, to go through the full process and it should be in your colon ready to be eliminated. Yeah, so the full process being from mouth and out yeah. through the anus. So yeah, 12 hours. Mm-hmm. So if we're eating three meals mm-hmm. today... There's only 24 hours in a day. We exactly. can't add hours. Mm-hmm. So we're already backed up, and that's just one day. But now up. we do it again tomorrow, mm-hmm. and we do it again the next day, mm-hmm. and we do it again the next day. Well, of course, you start feeling sluggish, and maybe you start having, like, breakouts, mm-hmm. and maybe you have bags under your eyes, mm-hmm. and maybe your nails are brittle. Your body's like, bro, I can do the job, yeah. but give me a minute. Exactly. Because our body just wants us to be healthy. Yeah. I mean, our bodies, we were created in health, 
and our body can do the job if only we would allow it to. But we live sort of in this band-aid society Mm -hmm. where we're so used to putting band-aids on symptoms and never really um, figuring out what the cause is. Mm -hmm. So, okay, let's rewind. What are some of the... So, like we said, the average person um, can and should fast, Mm -hmm. right? Um, what is the sort of minimum amount of time that someone should do a water fast? It all depends on what your goals are. Okay. So let's just say you want to go for, I don't know, standard organ rest. Your digestive system, you just want to give that rest. Because the moment you consume food, every one of your organs has to become, it's functional. Mm. Just because there is the whole breakdown of mm. metabolism and then the storage and utilization of the minerals that you're consuming. Now... If you just wanted to do that, 24 hours is okay. Okay. Yeah, standard. It's very easy. Generally, when you're first stepping into doing the water fast, I would say 24 hours, trial it out, see how yeah. you feel. It's very easy. It's like, okay, it's 3 o'clock now. I'm going to eat tomorrow at 3, 3 p.m. Yeah. Easy. Um, and then after that, you, you extend it 36 hours to 40 hours. But then that's it. Okay. From there, you go into a short fast, which is a detox fast. Okay. A detox fast is five days. Okay. It can be four days, depending if your body goes into the purging state before the fourth day. A detox fast being detoxing your body from these, from what? So basically what tends to happen now is that your body on the on day, well, some people go into detox within 12 to 18 hours. Okay. Um, which, is, which is fast, isn't of it? Of course, but that just shows you how highly toxic they are already. Oh, so mm-hmm. the more toxic, the faster you'd go into these. Yeah. Oh, wow. But they all, no, it's not, they still wouldn't have gone into the deep one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but they will start just, feeling the symptoms of a detox or the purge already. Okay, yeah. Now, this is just partly the reason why a lot of people wake up in their sleep in the middle of the night to go eat food is because their body starts to purge. Mm. So they wake up and night and now I need to eat something. So they get up and go to the kitchen and make themselves something to eat and then go back to bed. Mm-hmm. Because all they're trying to do is stop their body from going into elimination. Mm. So Which is necessary. It's very necessary. But what it is, is when our bodies go into elimination, it's the time when most people tend to break their fast. Okay. And that happens normally, typically between day two and day three. Okay, yeah. Which is, I mean, so between day two and three, that's when people would typically feel their worst. Yeah. Because your body is going into this purging state. Mm-hmm. And so what are some of the symptoms that some people may feel? I think it's dry mouth. Yeah. Wet mouth. Headaches. Nausea. Dizziness. Mm-hmm. Feeling lightheaded. Um, you could break out, right? You, you break On out. your face, maybe your back, you'd break out. But these Wild all tongue. being... White tongue, did you say? Yeah, I mean, the, they say the tongue is a mirror, is the mirror to your gut. So you can tell how well your health is, or mm. your gut health is, by the looks of your tongue. Okay. Um, so this, this the, the serious part of the elimination or the purge happens around day two, day three. Mm-hmm. And this is because your body has pulled more than 10 times the amount of toxins out of your tissues wow. and into your system, into circulation, so and- that your body can eliminate it. So, and if we could just pause right there, that's yeah. because we have stopped eating and we, because we have stopped forcing our body to continue doing the same job, which is just digestion, mm-hmm. our body is able to finally say, cool, I'm going to restore health. Mm-hmm. Let me start pulling these bad or these toxic or these nasty things from deep inside your muscles or deep inside your tissues. Let me get them out of here. Mm-hmm. But it has to transport and it has to make its way out through your bloodstream. Mm-hmm. Is that right? Of lymphatic system. Okay. Yeah. And then, and so that's why you would be feeling bad on those days because all of this bad stuff. Mm-hmm. that was deep inside your body mm-hmm. is now being pulled out to the surface so mm-hmm. of course you feel it course. so but this... a lot of people look at that as something bad they're yeah. like oh i feel bad and i need to I need my to fast. Eat. and that's exactly what they're mm-hmm. going to do also it's not just their fault it's because there are a lot of physicians there's a lot of people with phds that's talking about yeah you should do water fast but break your fast on a third day mm-hmm. these are people uh, okay. that don't water fast themselves these are people that do a lot of reading and they don't do it themselves. Mm-hmm. And when you go to the toilet, because of this is how the medical system works, is that they like to measure things. And they normally measure what is um, excreted from your body as um, a bad loss. So if you're excreting um, a lot of sugars and proteins out mm-hmm. of your body, which are excess or be, become toxic to your body, mm-hmm. then they would measure that and say, okay, no, you're sick. 
Okay. And you've got rights to see it as an instance. Uh, for instance, all your, your diabetic food, if you're losing this amount of sugar. No, I'm thinking, okay, so clearly you haven't done fast, so you, mm-hmm. you don't realise what the body's going through. Mm-hmm. Now, yes, your body is going to be relieving itself from inorganic minerals, um, sugars, uh, excessive amount of proteins, because that's how we eat. Mm-hmm. We consume yeah. so much. Yeah. So when your body's going through this elimination stage, you feel heavy. You don't have the strength to move around as mm. you want to freely. You're sick, um, but you, you've brought it upon yourself. Yeah, but it's not like a sickness because you've got to look at these symptoms as... You've got to, you've got to take pride in these symptoms because yeah. you know that your body's functioning yeah. correctly. Yeah. If you didn't go through these problems, then there, there might mm. be an issue unless you are super, super healthy. Um, the, the, the cleaner your diet is before you do a water fast, the least amount of symptoms you're going to feel yeah. in comparison you're, to you're, someone that has a regular diet. Yeah, you're only going to feel the, the, if the symptoms will be as, as bad as is your diet, as yeah. toxic as is your diet. But there's sort of um, a, a good part about it is after you sort of make it over this hump, it gets better, doesn't it? Of course. Now you start shooting up this direction and you feel like you're on cloud nine. You're clear thinking, you've got a lot of energy, like you're just alive. And I must say, because a lot of people would say like, well, that's just how you feel because Mm. you fasted so much. But he has helped coach people through fast and they all say the same thing. Mm -hmm. After they make it past that that sort of purging state, they feel better than they ever have Mm -hmm. in their life. I mean, there's one person who's never done a water fast before ever. Mm. Um, and she went through a fast with you. And how long did she do on her very first fast? Oh, there's a, a few, um, 14 days. But we met her in person. So congratulations to you. I know you know who days, you're talking about. 14 you. days. And, and she had never done a fast yeah. before. So, you know, that's just to say that it's not just coop. Anybody can do it. And everybody is feeling amazing after they do a water fast. Mm-hmm. Because it's just like a... It's like a spring cleaning of your body. It's mm-hmm. something that we should be doing. Just like we clean our houses all the time. Mm-hmm. And I don't know, we get our shoes cleaned and whatever it mm-hmm. else that we clean it it's mm-hmm. the same thing it's just like give it a rest mm-hmm. well when you enter into a fast what you should be aiming to do first is to change your diet you want to free yourself from the stimulants you want to yeah. free yourself from caffeine you want to free yourself from the sugar you want to free yourself from refined carbohydrates you want to you what you want to do is start eating foods that you know is considered as healthy. Mm-hmm. Everybody, the funny thing is, everybody knows what healthy is. Everyone knows I what agree. healthy eating is, no matter where you are from. Mm-hmm. So if I came, if somebody that eats unhealthy came in here and saw this table of fruits and lots of vegetables, so like, that's a healthy plate. Yeah. Or a healthy Yeah, table. and anybody would say that. Yeah. yeah, you're right. But if there was a, like a, a, a boiled egg and some chicken there, they would go for that. So yeah. they, you or they, some people already, already, identify some foods as healthy mm. or healthier yeah. than other food. I think fair to say most people know how to start being healthy. Yeah. Drink more water, mm-hmm. exercise a little bit, eat more fresh foods, yeah. fresh veggies, fresh fruit. Um, and so, you know, when we're talking about the facets, if you are going to do this fast and get all of this stuff out of your body, mm. don't go back and eat those same foods that puts your body in this um, situation eat good stuff yeah. so that you can really get your body going back on the path that it was always meant to be on mm-hmm. so that you can feel your best mm-hmm. and look your best yeah no you're totally right so you're changing your diet and then you're going into a fast so because the aim the, the the funny thing is when someone asks me how long should i fast it all boils down to you you can't follow somebody else's mission because that person's on a different mission than you are mm-hmm. and for myself my mission wasn't anything apart from challenging my mindset. Mm -hmm. I wanted to break addiction. I wanted to break Mm -hmm. away from the addiction of eating. And for me to do that, I know I'm physically strong, but I wanted to be mentally strong. Mm -hmm. And for me, I was like, okay, I eat. It's not like I eat a lot. I used to eat a lot more. Yeah, Yeah, I used to eat a lot. And I wanted to see how long I can go without eating food. Mm -hmm. And so my very first fast, I did 11 days. Mm -hmm. And... I didn't have anybody else to help coach me through it. Yeah, because, I mean, this is sort of, it's an old thing, Mm -hmm. but it's a new thing. So you'd never find somebody in the mainstream sort of doing it or recommending it. Um, So, yeah, you really had to figure it out yourself. Mm -hmm. I know before you did the 11 days, I did one fast, but it wasn't even, 
it wasn't the same kind of fast. I did a fast before we knew any better mm -hmm. with just water and coconut water. Mm -hmm. um, and I did five days mm -hmm. and I broke the fast improperly. You know, now I know this, but mm -hmm. I ate, I remember I, I felt like I was so hungry, but I ate like a big bowl of soup and it was way too hearty and it hurt my stomach. Mm -hmm. But there are ways to go into fast mm -hmm. and come out of fast mm -hmm. properly. Um, I think that there's a lot more to talk about with fasting. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people are going to have a lot of questions, yeah. but I think this is enough information for now. Mm -hmm. um, Coop, I'm not sure if you do follow him on Instagram, Coop underscore uh, DC, but he does coached water fast. Um, so if you are interested, if you want to help yourself heal and sort of set yourself on the right path with somebody with experience, what was it, over 200 days? Yeah, 240 days. Over 240 days. I, I mean, to tally it all up. Yeah, you should. I want to make it to 360 days, 365 days. It's yeah, like I say, I've done a full year yeah. of not Well, that would be it. awesome. Mm. But, I mean, you know, again, if you guys are really wanting to heal yourself, <clears throat> Coop's the guy who's done this before. Mm -hmm. He knows how you feel. Um, he knows what you could go through. And, and he just knows how to guide you. So um, check him out on Instagram. If not, you can always email him, cooppt at gmail.com. Um, we could probably drop it in here, too, just so you can see it. Mm. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there again. We'll probably talk about more about this in the future, but for now, like, comment, subscribe, share, and we'll talk to you soon.